Greetings, my fellow Trinuts. It is I, Trina. Today's video is a little different from what I normally do, and it's definitely not an animation meme. Today, I just want to share with all of you a special recipe that I have, and I hope that you would love to. The recipe that I am sharing with the whole class today is the dumb bitch juice. Look at it. Doesn't it just look hella aesthetic to you? My goodness, this is a very magical tasting drink. And if you want to make this drink yourself, just follow along, my dudes. Quick thing before we start, this recipe is essentially a copycat pink drink. And if you don't know what a pink drink is, it's that strawberry acai refresher with coconut milk at Starbucks. Even though that pink drink is pretty good, it could get expensive buying at Starbucks. So during summer, my dad and I were trying to find a copycat recipe because we both like the pink drink. And after many failed attempts on my end, my dad ended up finding this one YouTube channel by the name of Pink Mac Princess. My dad and I ended up trying her recipe instead, and out of all the other DIY pink drink recipes, hers came the closest to tasting like a Starbucks pink drink. As you'll see in the video, I added some more elements to this recipe just so it tastes more like a pink drink, but I want to give Pink Mac Princess credit for the base of the whole pink drink recipe that she made. Anyway, let's just get back to the video. This is what you need to make this drink. You will need one packet of the Starbucks Very Berry Hibiscus Refresher, and it comes in this particular package. You could get it at Target. Taizo Passion Tea, unsweetened coconut milk, and some blended strawberries. Optional, but if you want more sweetness into this drink, just add a bit of honey to it or any other sweetener you like. Some tools I recommend you use to make this drink is a cocktail shaker and a strainer. I highly recommend these two only because the cocktail shaker allows you to properly mix the drink because if you don't mix it properly, it will separate. And with the strainer, you could easily strain out the fat out of the coconut milk. You could still mix the pink drink even without using a cocktail shaker or a strainer, but I found using those two allow the drink to become smooth, so it's on you however you want to do this. First, mix the Very Berry Hibiscus Refresher Powder with some sweetener if you would like, and you are going to add some water to it. Make sure everything is dissolved and poured into your cocktail shaker. Next, add 1 4th cup of Tazzle Passion Tea and pour it into the cocktail shaker. Measure out 2-3 to three tablespoons of blended strawberries and pour that into the cocktail shaker. Measure and strain 1 cup of coconut milk and add it to the shaker. Make sure the cocktail shaker is secured and shake your little heart away for about 30-60 to 60 seconds. This is just so everything's mixed properly. I'm really sorry if I look really awkward in this shot. I'm just trying to make sure that nothing spills because last time I tried to make this pink drink with this cocktail shaker, I didn't close it all the way and everything spilled. So that's why I look super awkward. I'm just trying to make sure nothing spills. Get your container of choice. I have right here the Mardis map from Harry Potter because I ended up watching all of the movies and I love Harry Potter, so there's that. Pour that dumb bitch juice mixture into your container and oh my god, look how pink that looks. Like, doesn't that look hella aesthetic to you? Dang. And ta-da! Look at this drink. You are done. You are ready to drink this. And with mine, I went pretty basic with it. You could add the freeze-dried strawberries. I just didn't have any on hand, and the store I went to didn't have any freeze-dried strawberries, but you could totally add those. If you want to make this into a tipsy dumb bitch juice, just add two shots of vodka to it. Feel free to adjust and add on to this recipe if you like. In the end, it's your taste. If you want to add more coconut milk, add more coconut milk. If you want a little less, just scale back. If you somehow end up making this drink, please tell me if you enjoyed it or not, or if you added anything or changed anything to it. I would like to know. I hope all the ingredients I listed in the video are accessible to everybody, but if they're not, I apologize. In the description box below, I am going to list the ingredients, the measurements, and the directions to make this drink, along with some alternative ingredients if you can't find some ingredients, such as the very berry hibiscus. Either way, I hope you can make this drink because not only does it look pretty, but it also tastes so good. This is the end of the video, but I do have a couple of announcements, so if you want to sit down and watch that, then go for it. My online shop is still open, and that is trinadraws.ticktail.com. However, I am closing this store around January only because Ticktail decided to merge with Shopify, and if I was to keep that account, I would have to pay essentially about $15 to $20 a month to keep it, so... I'm moving to a different website for now, but if you want to buy some stuff, you better do it now because that will be closing around mid-January. 
Second thing is, I participated in the Dragon Prince food zine that was hosted by my sister. If you like the Dragon Prince and like food recipes in general, please check out our Twitter page because that has not only previews of all of the art, but also the recipes, and everyone did such a good job on this book, so if you want to help out, please consider buying a PDF or even all of the merch if you can. And all proceeds are going to go to the Puerto Rican Hurricane Relief, so if you're interested in that, please check out the website. I'm going to put it in the description box below along on the screen right now, so please check that out. I still have my coffee commissions open, and if you don't know what coffee is, it's that website where it's a tip jar service where you could donate as much as like one coffee or essentially three dollars to somebody and you could get some pretty cool art for me if you donate on this website don't feel obligated that you have to donate but if you want some art or anything you could always go to my coffee and donate because i'm always having that open Lastly, I am going to be attending Anime Impulse 2019, where I'm going to be tabling for the first time. I'll be tabling with my sister's friend Pew, and together we're just going to be selling some charms and prints, so if you end up going to Anime Impulse, I hope you stop by our booth so you can buy some stuff. And if you end up meeting me in person, I'm sorry if I'm really awkward and sweaty, because that's what I am, and I'm also a dumbass, so catch this little greasy gremlin at Anime Impulse uh, January 19th through the 20th, sipping that dumb bitch juice. I hope you enjoyed this video and remember to crush those nuts before you eat them.